Alrighty, my friends, it is that time. Time for the tip off. Here we go. We have all seniors in, so or all of our seniors. Sans Oren, who is hurt. Oren Frederick. Here we go. Hornets battling bees. Opening tip off. Oh, over Kendall's head, but she got sick. Great to have your board here. Tommy Maroon as the announcer. Starting lineup for Madai. I'm gonna speed run through this. Hey, we trip. Elizabeth Stewart. Uh, Shannon Wojciak, as there's a shot by Alexis that does not go in. Um, Allison Dwyer and Sarah McKee. Told you I was going to speed run through that. Speed run through us. Brooke Stewart, Alexis Fierce, Kendall's, or Kendall McCormick, Lindsey Frederick, and Taryn Kenny. There's a shot underneath the bucket by... Um, couldn't tell who that is. Looked like number 34. Sarah McKee, two points. Medina strikes first. Medina 0-2. We're 3-1. Here's a shot by Lindsey Frederick. No problem. We have ourselves a 2-2 game. Maybe this is going to be a speedy, high-paced, action-packed game. I believe we won 65-23 or 63-25 back on Thursday against a blowout against Holy Name. Hopefully we can have something else like that. But with shots like that coming out of uh, um, Elizabeth Stewart, no good. It's about to be the wrong player. But here we go. Kendall with it. Kendall crosses to the left side. Gets away from Tripp. And now Kendall being guarded by McKee. Kendall with a tough shot. That doesn't go in. Alexis is going to try to grab the rebound. She grabs the rebound. Here goes Brooke Stewart. Brooke Stewart steps back. Brooke Stewart to the right side. Now she has Taryn Kenny open. Taryn has the basketball. Taryn to the right side. Hand off. Here's Kendall. Kendall trying to cross over. Step back. Goes for the three. It is no good. And Medina with the height advantage right there. Looks like they have some tall players out there. And... In basketball, height and size really matters. Foul, no bucket. And that was Sarah McKee. Sarah McKee is a senior. Like a lot of people out here today. So to the line, here is McKee. McKee with two points. Foul goes to Lindsay, who has our two points. A minute 39 gone by in this contest so far. She gets the first one with no problem. Of course, typically, um, Mary Miller would be starting for the Howl Horns, but talked with Coach Manson yesterday. Coach said that he wanted all seniors today to celebrate Senior Day. High pass. Can Kendall get there? Yes, she can. She's going to pass it to Alexis. Almost off target. Luckily, Brooke Stewart was in the right place at the right time. Crossing over. That ball got poked out and give it to the battling bees, apparently. Speaking of Mary, she's in, and along with Lantacena, in case you missed no substitutions, I believe. Minute 50 passed in the first quarter of play. That is Haley Tripp, who passes it back. Looks like she has a knee brace on, number 25, Allison Dwyer. And here's a pass underneath the bucket, McKee. That went out. Last touch by McKee. Give it to the Hornets. In the world of college football, looks like the Buckeyes up 38-7. to Go H-I-O, we on a roll. Now here's Maddie with the basketball, goes over to the right side here in a 4-2 game against Medina. A GCC school, you know that GCC teams are very good. Maddie lost the ball for a minute, but that was poked out by Dwyer. Give it to the Hornets. Still two minutes and 14 seconds have passed. Lindsay. And pressure. Pass to the right side. Kendall. Kendall thinking three. Kendall no good. And it looks like that'll be Medina ball. Apparently they seem to have the height advantage that we lack. McKee with it. McKee being guarded by Kendall. Pass back here to Tripp. And Tripp is thinking three. And Tripp is not going to get the three. Rebound here by Wojciak. And now here's McKee again. A little short. Here's a shot off the board by Dwyer. And the Hornets find themselves down six to two. Last year, I believe we played Medina, and I believe it was close. Ended up losing by a little bit, though. And, oh, man, I wish I could be there, but due to COVID, I can't. As Kendall slices, dices, and scores. Talk about fancy moves out there on this senior night. Here's a pass to McKee, who's looking good so far today. Four points now, a pass back, and here they go swinging in the corner for Dwyer with an air ball. No good. As Atlanta Cena, one of the Tallest players on the team who grabbed that miss. She'll pass it 
the Kendall with two points today goes to the left side to try and get something in that one. Out on trip for the bees. Give it to the Hornets. No, it was a foul, is what it seemed. It was a shooting foul, too. So Kendall's going to showcase what she can do at the free throw line. Two shots. Of course, this live stream being brought to you by HLS.media. Some of the best in the business, led by Brian and Gabe. I mean, they did the football season. They did a few games as well. They did some soccer matchups, I believe, some volleyball matchups. And, of course, they're continuing with basketball. Typically, you don't see too many live streams, but this year, of course, you're seeing a lot because of limited attendance due to the coronavirus pandemic. No foul right there on the second missed shot. McKee with the ball. McKee looking. Sarah McKee to the right side with the pick and roll right there. McKee with a tough shot, and Elena just fouled her. She's not happy about that call. You can tell by her reaction. That will be our second foul today. 4.25 remaining in the first quarter. Of course, JV team won earlier today. So here we go. First shot is up. It is bouncing around like a pinball. Can't go in. Callie Angus checking in for Lindsey Frederick. Callie stands at 5'10", whereas Lindsey stands at 5'7". That's a 3-inch advantage right there. And when it comes to basketball... You'll take the smallest advantages when it comes to height. Maddie with the ball. Maddie with an outrunning of the of her defender looking. And there's a foul. No, no, no. She traveled. She traveled. 418 left. Excuse me for a song to start. I couldn't find the right words right there. Here is Shannon Wojciak passing it to Haley Tripp. Haley Tripp with the ball going to the right side. Step back. She's thinking along too. And that can't go in. Good rebound by McKee. Goes to the left side here to watch Jack again. Watch Jack stepping back with a pass underneath the bucket. Sarah McKee in a double team and it's rejected. And Maddie gets the ball. And she is going to try to get away from Watch Jack. And she is going to heave this one. And here comes Elena Cena. Easy two. And no good. Alexis trying to save it. She cannot do it. And with 3.45 left, you can give it to the Beast. Trip gonna pass it to Wojciak. At least I think, or we'll see. Nope, it'll be the inverse instead. It will be Wojciak passing it into Trip. And here's a pass to the right side, looking, and here we go again. Wojciak with the basketball goes over to the right side, hand off to Trip. They're just passing, trying to find someone. Trip looking. Trip might be thinking three. Here's a pass to Sarah McKee. McKee being guarded by Alexis. That is no good. Can we get there in time? Maddie grabs the miss. Here she goes. Two point contest separating them. Whoa, Sarah McKee went down. Here's a shot by Maddie. Can't go in. Good rebound by Elena. Another good rebound by Elena. And she can't get it in. And they somehow stay in bounds. Obviously, McKee looking good now. And she is not hurt anymore. She is open. But there's going to be a. Foul. So it seems. You can see some substitutions. Alexis is going to sit down on the bench. But wow. Looked like there was an offensive foul right there. And Lindsey Frederick going to pass it back to Kelly McCormick. Looks like she's back in. Either then or I've just not been paying attention. She has one point today. And here she goes. Passes it. Here's a pump fake. Oh, and with a shot. Line drive. No good. Rebound by McKee. Big double team. Passes it to Yora Owings. Here they go off to the races. Rigatodia. Here's a shot. That is good. It is 9-5 to five now. Do you call timeout yet? I feel like it's a little too early for a timeout. It's 9-5. to five. Kendall passes it. Almost loses the ball. Here's Elena. Here's Maddie. Maddie and Kendall can make threes. You know that. Here's a spin move. There's a tough shot. And she is going to attract a foul. That's always a good sight to see with... 226 left to play in the game. Of course, you can see that on your screen right there. Of course, Scott will have the graphics. Scott will have everything that HLS.media does. Sarah McKee grabs the basketball. Of course, not too many people are here because of 
the coronavirus. So, of course, there aren't really fans that can pick that up, especially, you know, in a virus, you can't really touch things. Maddie misses. Not every day do you see that. And we'll see some substitutions. Looks like Elizabeth Stewart directing some traffic going on right there. Of course, Miley Roberts is in for Medina. Come on, split the free throws. Split them indeed. Split them as if you were going bowling and you knocked down eight pins but failed to knock down the seven pin and the ten pin. That is never fun. I'm not good at sports. Reagan Todia with the ball. Todia crosses midcourt. What does she do here? She's looking. Goes to the left side. Here's a pass to Tripp. Haley Tripp steps back over Alexis for three. She has the range. It just couldn't go in. Ball is going to be going high. Would make get it get that way? Kendall gets it here on this senior day. And Kendall with the pass to the right side. Delaney Lawson for three. No problem! Did I tell you that Delaney Lawson can make threes? Because she really can. Tie game. Man, oh man, all I see out of her is long shots. And you think, wow, they're going in. You know that. Tony and slicing, dicing shot is good. Medina going to reclaim the lead. Kendall gets it back. What can she do here in an 11-9 game? A little high scoring out here. Pass to the right side. Helena in pressure. Less than 90 seconds to play. Pass is going to be tipped. Take it away. That's two easy points out here. Unless she misses. And Leora Owings will not miss. And instead, Owings extends it to a four-point game here in the first quarter of play. Delaney looking, and that pass is going to be a kicked ball violation, luckily. 13-9. Going to see some substitutions as Lena going to go sit on down. And some more substitutions from what I can tell. Here's a pass to Kendall with a man to go, and bounded from Delaney, and Kendall looking, going to the right side. Look out, Maddie. She's got to pass it back to Kendall now, over to Alexis, back over to Maddie. Thinking three, it is up and in! Great three ball right there. We're making it right from downtown, I tell you. And now a pass, and they go underneath the bucket. Give it to the Hornets. Miley Roberts could not save the basketball. 47.8 left. 13 12. Fierce sits down. Frederick comes in. Of course, there are two Fredericks. Lindsay and Warren. Warren is out. Lindsay is in. As in Warren is hurt. Kendall has the ball. 13 to 12. She passes it right side. What happens? Do I need to get that out soon? Here comes Terry Kenny. Terry Kenny in the court thinking three. And that is no good. Luckily, May right place, right time. Delaney thinking three. That is also no good. Oh, good rebound by Taryn. Here's Kendall. Here's May. She's also thinking three. And that is also no good. Oh, man. Allison Dwyer with a heave. And they go underneath the bucket. And two points coming out of Kate Bobby. Nine seconds of play. Tight contest out here. Looking for the three, baby. They got to pass it. Ball gang poked out. And there's going to be the end of the first, I believe. 15 to 12. B's out ahead. 